No, okay. Recording started. It's currently like 2.55 in the morning. I'm a bit tired, but not tired enough. So I'm going to make this video since our matches like this was Sunday. So this is just a video on how to play Mario Kart since a lot of you guys are not the best at Mario Kart. No, no offense or to any future teammates no offense but this is just to teach you Mario Kart basics a little advanced maneuvers but like most most Mario Kart you just get better by practicing there's no like real secret to it you just gotta practice I understand ice bump movement anyways so this will be broken up to three segments there might be timestamps maybe I don't know it depends if I'm remember and if i'm not lazy but if there aren't i'm just gonna go through a track talk basics of marion cart then after that i'm gonna go to each section and explain strats uh things you can do to improve and what to look out for and then final section will be just um what you call it just like tips tricks stuff you should know some important information maybe like some like other information if i remember any anyways yeah so first section don't mind that that's just how you do it boat racing woo. so marion cart most of you know this but for those that don't marion cart is an ice boat race where you gotta do the lap three times very similar to Mario Kart. You got those puffer fish that give you items. And then those items can give you like the items are either snowball, which when thrown throws out sends out a turtle that goes like twenty blocks and then disappears. And if the turtle hits a boat, then um it breaks the boat. There's the spyglass, which when you use blinds everyone but yourself, including your teammates and opponents. So be mindful of that. And then last but not least, the most rare item, a bill. It would have been great timing if I got it there. It's a uncrowdable lingering potion. It's black. And when thrown, it sends out a bill, which is just a really fast horse. And that can basically bring you from like last place to like near first, depending on how close everyone is and how far back you were. But Marion Kart, there's not much to Marion Kart in terms of like tech <coughs> and like hidden strats. It's mainly just learn how to go through the course. There isn't much to teach you. There's just how you should go about learning the game. Anyways. So I'm going on my last lap. Some people go in first person. Uh, like this. I can't do this. I find this really weird. Um, I mean sometimes you can do like lineups easier with this. But like. I, I prefer third person. No one's playing in second person. Oh, Bill. See, perfect example of Bill. Horse. It goes really fast. It's great. Love them. And, yeah. So this is the course. Pretty sh short course for the most part. And not much interruptions. But when playing with seven other people in a real match... You're going to be like bumping into people a lot, especially first lap. And then this, when you finish, is your tick. And 20 ticks equals one second, I'm pretty sure. Now, it might be a little different, not by the exact. Sometimes tick rate drops a tiny bit, but that's basically what it is. You're aiming for if you like, you actually want to get good at it. Once you get like a sub 4K, you're good. That's like pretty good time. If you really want to be like one of the great greater players, go around like go for like a three thousand five hundred. 
And if you want to go for a world record, which is now held by me, you got to drop all the way to 2,700. Probably lower than that soon because Nathan's trying to grind because he was the previous world record holder. Or maybe someone else has it by the time this, you're watching this. Who knows? But yeah, that's Mirren Cart. Time to go over. <coughs> Cough. My bad. I'm sick right now. Time to go over um the section. So first, you're going to be starting here. Uh, there's just going to be like glass here. My strat you can do is like just place your boat in front of your opponent and just like make sure they just can't place your boat. It's very funny. Patrick doesn't like it when I do it because they they just want to place their boat. But then when you're off, you just go forward. It gets slightly more narrow each layer. But for the most part, you should be able to handle this. And then this turn, don't be afraid of bump into that. Bump into that is perfectly fine. Most people bump into it. You could take the turn a little shorter and go like that. But to, but like, you need to practice that. You need to judge that. So what I suggest to do is just bump into a corner. If you can get to like a 180 and then bump it, you should be pretty good. And then it's just a straight. And then here, this is like one of the hardest parts. So a boat is like... I'm trying to hit boxes. The boat's like this big. And then this part right here is not much bigger than a boat. And then there's this. So the whole like problem with this section is it's very hard to like go through here perfectly while just coming in from the corner. So there's two ways. You can practice try to get perfect honey, which the most consistent way to get perfect honey I found out is you come here you hit this wall but you hit it like sideways and then you start adjusting yourself um or what you can do is what most people do is they come here they go they go they go once they hit like something like that they get out of their boat and place it uh this is a reminder that you can get out and place your boat as many times as you want now like don't like grief other people by just like spamming boats that's against the rules don't do that you will get banned but you can get out of your boat and replace it when needed you can even just like run through the track now that's not very um suggested unless it so there's a few parts where you could do it and it is beneficial but for the most part don't run go on the boat but yeah this section very hard and then you just come up here you finish the section and you just go in the water and you go up. <coughs> and then you start with this section. Section where a lot of, when it's like your first run, you're going to be here for a while. So there's these donuts, which your initial thought is, let me go around them. So like you try to go around, try to go around, oh, and you spin drift and you fall. That's not good. So there's two things you can do. If you're really bad and you don't want to practice, just run. Now, do I... Should you do this? If you at least have some brain? No. Because there's a easier way that also makes it go by faster. I don't know how, the, how that puffer fish died. So when you're coming down from here, you're coming down, you're coming down, ride this wall and just go like this. And then get out of the boat. And you can do two things after this. Well, three things technically. But two things for you probably. Unless you practice this. Yeah, they just run the rest of the way. All the way past this checkpoint. To here. And then place your boat. Or. You come here. Wait, frick. You come here. And you place another boat. And you go more. And then you get out. And then you go here. But. If you're a bit better at the game. There's two ways you can do it. There's the way where you actually do do the turns, which I'm not good at doing the turns. I don't practice that a whole lot. Should I practice it? Probably. But you can do the turns, or you can do what my personal strat is, which is you come down, you do this initial leap, but then you cross over because you also get the item and you build up the speed throughout the entire thing. Now, that's a very hard turn takes a practice because not only do you have to like turn this way but you also got to start 
thinking about going straight and then turning on here. <coughs> a very hard turn. So I suggest this is a section if you want to start like improving your time by a decent amount, this is a section to practice. Because a lot of time can be saved here from the uh, novice, the beginner route. Okay, so then after here, come here straight away. You come, you come, and then there's two paths. There's this path, which is very narrow, no barriers, easily to fall off. Or this path, the main path, just a nice big turn, but there is a barrier, and like no barrier right there. So, the intended route, you come here, you can play a little safe if you want. No shame in that, no shame in that whatsoever. Or, you can come in and do the skip. Now, the skip is very difficult. So, there's a few ways to go about it. You come here, and you break. Like, you hit the wall. What do you do? You don't really want to, like, go, like, you can run across the track if you want. But, personally, I don't do that. What I find faster is... You come over here to like this end, you come over here, you place a boat, and you just ride it. And then you come over. Or, if you do make it through, you like shift right here if you know you're about to fall off. And you just run the rest of the way. Or if you get like, if you got the game, you can actually like hit, I'm going to see if I can do this for you. But you actually like hit the they like that which is very hard to do but if you want to try practice it this is what you want to do so when you're coming in right about like here you want to start like moving this way but at the same time like only like small movements and then start moving this way it's okay if you start moving like that when coming in because you're going to just shift right away you don't want to like try to like keep it there because there is this hole and you can't fall off so you want to just shift and then start running but this way is faster than even if you're just like parkouring. Now, be careful with the parkour because since it is gaps, you can easily fall off like such. So that's why I suggest you come over here and you place the boat. Less likely of you falling off unless you do that. Or you can go attended path. Attended path, a bit slower, but if you get it down where you can do that turn like basically perfectly... It is pretty much as fast as the skip, unless you can pull off the skip, like, really well. Now, I'm not good at this, but I suggest you practice both. Especially this turn, because on uh, tournament day, when you're going against a team, you're going to be, like, there's going to be a bunch of people here, probably. Especially if you're in back half. So, just in case, you want to be able to... Do both just in case of one path is filled you should go the other way to go faster now this section this section intended path you're in your boat you go on the arrows and it boosts you from star to star all the way to the other side and there's these gates you come in boom you made it but you saw how long that took especially like going up and landing it's a much faster way so, labeled here checkpoint 6, there's also a command block underneath, around here. Around here, there is um, a, what you call it, checkpoint. But when you die, the checkpoint doesn't bring you back to this spot. It actually brings you to the end where the stars bring you. So, a much faster way to do it is you come here, you make sure you hit the checkpoint. What you can tell is on the side there's a scoreboard and it'll say your name and then it'll say your number. If it ends with a six, that means you've hit checkpoint six, which is this one, which means you won't be sent back over here. You will be sent over there if you die. So you just come here and you just jump off the edge. You just simply jump. I don't have fly. There we go. But it brings you all the way over here, and it's much faster. You should never take the star. There is no scenario where taking the star path is optimal. <laughs> never take it. Always just jump off the edge. And then come here. 
then there's the waterfall. There's two ways you can go about the waterfall. You can just ride it up and then place your boat afterwards. Or you respawn here, you go in your boat, and you just send it upwards, and then you start going. Now, I believe just placing your boat is faster, but it also gets in the way. And if there's other people here, it can get messy. So what I do is I come here, I come up, and then I go into swimming animation. Fuck. I messed it up. I'm not too consistent with it, but see if you don't go into swimming action and if you don't go into a swimming animation like this, you go really high up. But if near the top you start going swimming animation, you don't go as high. Able then you'd be able to place your boat a lot sooner. And then you come over here, and this is like the hardest turn in the uh what you call it map. It's a very hard turn, it's a very wide turn, and very sudden turn. So don't be afraid to get out of your boat walk a bit and then just place it no shame in that but if you want to try practice it normally you want to start like holding your uh what you call it key like around when you pass this part that's when you want to start holding your left key don't go if you try to do this turn don't go right side don't go the right side if you come up right side which is very possible if it's fine if you do but like cut across because Having to do the turn this way is a little more harder as you need to have a bigger turn. And you also, depending where you place your boat, you also would have to turn to right a bit. But it's still very doable there. Just a little less, uh, not a little less hard, a little more hard to do the turn like that. I personally go right though. So I come here and around there, I start holding left, but then also you gotta hold right at the same time to straighten yourself out to make sure you don't turn too far and to make sure you don't like start slowly turning. Holding right to make sure you like you stop turning basically. That's what it does. Then you come up here, up the waterfall. Now, sometimes you will fall there. I've seen people fall, I fall in there. It's tragic, my ego gets destroyed. I haven't recovered since the one time I did that. But if you get close and you're scared, you're scared, just shift. Even if you don't, it's fine because you can just replace your boat. Like I've said before, you can replace your boat as many times as you want and you can even walk the track. Now, you can come over here. There's a puffer fish here and then boom, end of your lap. You just got to do that two more times and then boom, you're done. <sighs> now, for some tips. Items, snowball. You're never going to really use your snowball. Like you can throw it. But like the turtle isn't going to hit anyone. Like it's very few. Now spyglass. Spyglass is great. Because it blinds everyone. And basically depending on where they are. Especially if they're like at this section over here. Or like doing that turn right there. Most likely unless they like practice this a lot. Like me. They won't fall off. Even then I will probably still fall off. Just because. It's hard to memorize turns and like how long to press a key for each turn <coughs> without being able to visually see where you are at. But it also hinders your teammates. Like if you're like one of the worst players on your team and you do this, not only will it blind the other team's best player, but it also blind your team's best player. In some scenarios, that actually might hurt you more than it will help your team. So I would suggest talk to your teammates. Figure out who's good, how good you guys are compared to the other team, and if blindness should be used during that match. Because there are strats where you just don't use the blindness at all throughout the match. And it works out great. But that's something you should discuss with your team and per match. Not in, like just in general. You should do this mainly per match and figure out what is best. And then finally, here he is. Lingering Uncraftable Potion. Bill. There's two spots, two spots you will, you're going to use this in. Either here, after this waterfall, if you get it from the pufferfish near the end, or those pufferfish over there, or you come here, you come here, and you get it from this pufferfish. So either you're using it here, or you're using it like here, or here, like around this area. God damn, I lost my bill. I can't even show you it now. Also, another note, um, 
your power-ups will get like overtaken by whatever you get next so something you can do is like put in your offhand and you can hold two items or even then you can just put like your item in another slot you can just hold a bunch of items you can just hold them now it's not really useful unless you have a bill besides that not really useful anyways so you get the bill you either use it here or there it doesn't matter where i show you because both ways you demonstrate it all so you come here make sure you place it near the floor because the bill can will like if you're no one's on the bill it will just float and if you're like if you float and you don't catch it and you're down here and it's all the way like up here you won't be able to reach it and you're gonna cry so make sure you're like low enough to the ground and just click it and then once you click it it will immediately spawn and the timer is running it can only last for a little bit how much i don't remember but it basically if you have it from here you can go all the way over there so you place it you get on it and then this is the route you take this is the optimal route you can take the other side if you want that's like the first time i've ever messed that up but look, a way to tell if it's about to die if it turns white like michael jackson then dies but that was a bad demonstration so there's two ways you can take it you can either take it this way which is the way i go which we run across here we hit here and then we start going left right i mean and then we go left and then we end here we go off here and then we get off the horse fall into the void or you can play a bit safe and you can go around the arch this way is only faster by like slightly not much faster at all Let's see if i can get another bill okay other bill or might as well just show you since i messed up the first time um you can place it here go around like that and then you fall and see bills will float i don't know why they float but they float and then he'll turn into michael jackson then die um boats boats will always respawn make sure when you get an item and you like try to put in your other slot make sure you don't put it in one of your boat slots because it will just disappear and then you have a boat in your off hand you don't want that so be careful with where you put your items if you want to try and move it in somewhere else in your hotbar um but yeah this is the main spot you want to use a bill because since you fall to your death there because it is faster you won't have a bill in this section whatsoever so you can basically basically never use a bill there that's you gotta make sure you practice that and you could technically get the bill here like i did here but it is not very useful here i mean you could take it but like it takes fall damage which slows it down and then you come over here and then you have to go through this which sometimes you get stuck and then you get left here and also this is like the easiest part you don't want to use it somewhere where it's easy and where you can get stuck that's not a area where you want to use a bill so over here is best because it's very open it's a hard section with a boat but with the bill you can easily cruise by and it's just like you can go really fast with a bill in this section now there will be some bill not fully used but even then it is universally basically agreed that this is the best spot to use a bill is there any other tidbits um i don't think so i think that's basically the entirety of Marion kart takes a lot of practice to get good at these games especially Marion kart it takes a good while to get good at Marion kart oh my bad to tap out real quick how wrong is the uh 12 we're already like at 25 huh anyways it's a lot of practice i suggest get around a 4k time if you can get around 4k time you're doing pretty good and if you are like a try hard and you try to get like a time that's like really low 
like like near like the 2000 area like near like 3000 flat when playing the actual match don't feel too bad about gaining like a high time that's like not usually your like average time don't feel bad about that because in the actual match there's going to be people using blindness there's going to be people like bumping into you and sometimes you just get pushed into the back like you can be like one of the best Marion Kart players but if you like in the start you get pushed in the back you it's a hard time to recover just because it's this game's not made f like the tracks not made in mind for like having eight people side by side throughout the entire track there will be segments and if you get and after like lap one if you're in the back segment you're most likely not going to be able to come up uh first half of the race unless you like get really lucky with like bills or if front half starts messing up but you shouldn't be too worried about your placement in the terms of oh i should oh i usually get like a 35 and then in tournament day i got like a 400 a 4 a 40 right don't don't feel too bad about that that happens you get over it you got more games to play or you've already played all the games so don't feel too bad about your placement just if it happens consistently maybe like do some vod review or try to like do a scrimmage with some people just so you can get a feel for playing marion kart with a bunch of other people <laughs> also another thing in this section right here when there's multiple puffer fish if you go near the middle if you time it correctly you can get both items if you run into two puffer fish you just have to make sure you press either f the default or for me it's g because i put it to g don't make fun of me so if you time that correctly you can get two items there but yeah these turns um some of the turns are very hard uh something i suggest is you can watch back and watch me do it as in the top right i have my keystrokes which basically show you how I made each turn. But also don't hold left the entire time. Or like right. Because that won't get you anywhere. This is a good turn to demonstrate. You want to like go left a little. And then you want to start holding the opposite direction that you want to. That you are going in. This is basically because if you like hold left. And you let go. You're going to keep on spinning. But if you press right. It helps you slow down a lot faster. So then that worked for all turns. It won't be as dramatic as that. But without it, if you don't press left, this you, you'll spin out. Or if like you plus press it a little bit, you just won't have like the you just won't be able to make the time. Like the turn in time. So you have to be able to like turn like press the opposite direction at all times. And me personally, I I press A and D a lot throughout my run. Not like twenty four seven. There are times where I don't press it, but it's good to like keep on moving, so then you don't get too stuck. <laughs> Anyways, I believe that is it. Now, you can only really practice this. Well, not really. You basically can't only practice this. If you have op or if someone with op can like start the game for you. Now, once the game gets started, you can play or by yourself. Because you when you finish, you go into spectator mode. And then in the middle of this, of the like the star where it loads, there's a command block which puts you into a Avenger mode. And then while here there's like barrier blocks right here. You can actually place the boat like you saw in the beginning of the video. You can come down here and you can press the button to start a new game. So you can do that. You just need someone to initially start it for you. If you need help starting it, 
uh, you can DM me and I can help you get, get started if you don't have op. Um, I'll try to do it whenever I can and whenever you're on. But yeah, make sure also sometimes you do skip checkpoints. So just sometimes check on the side, make sure you didn't skip any checkpoints. Other thing, I have wave points on every single checkpoint. Do you need wavepoint mod for this? And do you need to set wavepoints if you have wavepoint mod? No, you don't. But this is this was just to help me learn. You can probably learn where all checkpoints are on like your fifth run. They're pretty simple. Most checkpoints have a command block underneath them. Not all of them. If it has a puffer fish, if there's a puffer fish, there would be a command block underneath also. But if there's like a command block underneath the uh, ice, most likely there's a checkpoint if there's like nothing else going on here. And yeah. So if you have any other questions or if I didn't cover something that um, that you're like, how did you do this? Or like, how do I do this? It wasn't like explained good enough. Um, message me and I'll get back to you. Uh, like, I'll DM you back or we can like go into like a call and like we can talk about it a little bit. But or I might even make another video. I don't know. But this is a tutorial for my teammates. Um, yeah. This is the second time I'm recording this. First time went terrible. Like halfway through my audio stopped picking up. Hope this didn't happen again. But yeah. If you don't feel comfortable on this turn also, just don't. Just get out. There's no shame in getting out like on any of these turns. Just get out, walk a little, go back in the boat. Also, I know this video is long, but like after like your first time through watching this video, you can probably just like watch me do it. You should mute me. I'll probably get annoying after like fifth time watching me do it. But yeah, that's how you Marion cards played. Again, any questions? DM me if you need tips about any other game dm me i should i'm planning on making videos about other games eventually now other games i'm not going to go as in depth of in them as my, what my knowledge actually holds as those games like i like i need to keep some secrets just to make sure i stay ahead but this game you really aren't going to be better unless you put in the time and effort and yeah, so happy boating, I guess. Happy been mirror recording and adios. See you sometime. Maybe, I don't know. You should probably watch the first part again. See how I did everything. See how I got my wonderful time. That's like a really good time. Like that's like basically third best time ever. Like third place, that's their PB ever, and like, like in the time trials, basically. I just did that casually while explaining Marion Kart. I'm so good at this game.